morning everybody and welcome to Juggling January episode 3. Now as you can see by the title today we are doing, we are mainly going to be doing a big food shop. Now I don't actually do gigantic food shops but I felt like I want to start this year because obviously it's a lot cheaper but it's just it's just nice to have all the food in the house and I feel like you come up with better meal ideas. I just pop to the shop all the time, get the same old thing, a bit of a pita, a bit of a salad, a bit of a sausage. <laughs> no, I don't have sausages very much. A little bit of a salmon, you know, the usual. So I thought it'd be nice to go to a big shop. In London, we don't actually have that many big supermarkets. We do have one big one near us, which is Waitrose. So that's where we're going today. I am currently waiting for Niall and Buttercup. I thought I'd say good morning. It's a Tuesday, it's blue in the sky. It's looking glorious and be a good day. And I thought I'd bring you along on my day. I have actually got my big old list and I thought actually I may, may make something with you later as well that I buy because basically I want to make some healthier treats because I keep eating chocolate still from Christmas and there's nothing wrong with that. But I would like to have the option of having my own healthy treats too. So I think what I'm gonna do is try and make something of Niles from his Instagram page because Niall makes little video clips of like healthier recipes. So I think we're gonna make one. We're gonna make one called Blondie Cups with, no, Blondie Nutella Cups, that's the one. We're gonna make them. I think this evening as well, actually, I'm gonna make some sausage pasta from Rather Delish as well. I'm not sure. And also I do want to get some bits to make some overnight oats as well. As I said in my last episode, I want to start having overnight oats in the morning for breakfast. Cause I'm, just, I'm struggling with my breakfast, you know. I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm bored of the old Weetabix. I want to mix it up out and about, have, have a new overnight oat. And I don't like hot oats because they're like gloop. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do today. And maybe it will inspire you to go and have a big food shop. I do feel like when you get like a big, big chunk of food in your house, you eat better. Less likely to get the old takeaway Nando's on the go or, you know, grab a meal deal. That's what I feel. So we're going to do that today and I think we will bake a little bit later too. But Niall is going to be using my camera today because he's filming like a working day in the life. So he wants to film himself filming his food video as well. So we'll have to put you on pause for a bit. But yes, anyway, I hope you're enjoying juggling January. I'm loving it. I am very excited actually for the next one because the next one I'm going to do is going to be a girl talk. And I've got lots of questions on the go to do with like everything to do with relationships, friendships sex, heartbreak. I did a few of these before and I loved them so it's a bit of a challenge but I'm enjoying. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is put a bit of James Arthur on, wait for Niall and we're going to get food shopping. <laughs> Off me! Niall has arrived. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog Niall. Well, Welcome see to I'm... January. Oh, oh, no, <laughs> teeth. Welcome to Juggling January episode 3. What are you juggling? <laughs> We're juggling through the January blues. I like jugs. Hi all. <laughs> rude. Did you know everybody thought that I was going to be juggling in each episode? Well, not everybody, somebody. What? <laughs> they, they, before they knew what the concept was, they thought I was juggling. Bit of James. Secret, I'm obsessed with him at the moment, since so the Newcastle road trip. So what are we getting in the old shop? Well, I'm going to make your blondie Nutella cups, is that what they're called? Nutella blondie cups, get it right. That's the one. Show, show them a picture of them then. The other thing I love about big food shops is there's always good deals. Not in the small food shops in London, they're very expensive. That's a, that's a blondie Nutella cup, which I'm gonna make later. You wanna see the vid? <laughs> there he goes, plugging himself. The sun's not on your side, love. What's up? What did you say? It's because he's from up north, that's what they say, ta. <laughs> do they to... say ta -ra. No, they don't. Ta -ra. Well, no, they ta -ra. Go, ta. And Quarry, Coronation Street, they go, ta. <laughs> ta, ta, love. Ta, love. James Arthur's voice not annoying you a little bit. <laughs> that is definitely not what no. James Arthur sounds like. It is. That's so offensive. James Arthur has a beautiful voice. Go. It's beautiful. Here's my list. We're in the lift on the way down. Where's your list? Shower gel, because I've been using yours for three months, did you know? 
What, my pumpkin spice? Chicken, tofu, coconut milk, rice, lots of milk. I'm gonna have to steal yours. <laughs> and bananas. We're gonna have a party in the milk section today. We need to get a trolley, come on. Trolley! How come you don't have to use a pound anymore? What the heck? I grew up where you had to put a pound in the trolley to get one. Right, in the veggies. The best veggies in the world. Oh, the broccoli. Oh my god, these are sweet. They're a bit weird. Are they? Okay, oh, let's... No, that's alright. Why are they sweet? Oh, no, no, I like tips. These tips. Spears. No, we'll take the spears. I love a spear. Actually, no, these are the ones. I like these little ones. Because then you don't get loads of stalk. The stalks that... The ugly bit. We've got loads of different broccoli. Right, next on the agenda, a key factor to a sausage pasta is a sweet red rom Romano, Roma Romeo, Romano, Romano pepper. They are absolutely glorious. Don't know about you, but if you have normal peppers, switch to sweet. Right, where's the sausages? Let's see if we can you find any a, cool ones. Oh look, yes. Heck, I love a heck. I think I'm gonna go with surprise, surprise, straight to the sausages. No, so, what is with you in the root comments today? Jugs. Jugs and sausages. I think heck, heck is a good one. But we've, we've got chicken or we've got pork. Not chicken. Mm, I think we'll go with a chicken sausage. Chicken, more protein. Love, it. love a heck. Love a nice sausage. You've always got sausage on your mind, haven't you? Excuse me. We are coming to my favourite section <gasps> in the supermarket. It's the milk section. What milk we're going to go for today? My current favourite milks: hazelnut in the coffee, or the tea. Hazelnut in tea actually is so nice. And then we need a soya, and I've actually changed to soya unsweetened. I used to go for the regular. I just actually prefer the taste of this one. Not that there's anything wrong with that one. But I think the taste of this one is a little bit more nutty. I like a nutty milk. Why does nowhere do oat milk anymore? <laughs> because it's rubbish. Where is oat milk? And then the other good one, where is it? This one, a soya chocolate. I'm gonna take that one. Lovely. So we are now in the hair section, because Niall needs to. Ozzy. I'm an, Aussie, I'm an Aussie man. <laughs> All right, God damn them. Here's my usuals. Actually, do you know what? Do you know what? I haven't even told you yet. I've got a brand new hair care routine oh and curling routine and product routine when I curl it. So I need to show you my new hair care routine. Let me know if you want to see it. I have done it this morning. I tr I'm trying out a new shampoo and conditioner for a certain reason. Let me know if you want to know, but this is my usual. This is really nice, actually. I basically switched to this conditioner and shampoo because it's delicate, and um, I was getting like under bumps on my skin. I don't know if you remember. And this, stop that. I've just got foundation on the bottle. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I need to wipe that off. What? I just got foundation on the bottle. But yeah, this, if you get like irritated scalp, or you get kind of like under bump spots around your head. I switched this on my hair care because I was using quite like a heavy one before. Changed my life, changed my head's life. Who else thinks Niall needs this Mag one? Mango thoughts, mango <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> I don't know if anybody watched Vlogmas 2017, but you know if you know. If you, you, know. Ne you never did the mango hand you know cream. If you know, you mean if you know, you know, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Do the mango hand cream. Man ne mango you never did it. Cream. Do you know what? That's another tip. I'm on a cosmetic tip. Top tips with top tip. Med. Cosmetic Q line. No. What's <laughs> what you call this? Uh, row in the supermarket. Aisle. Aisle that's the one. <laughs> I have started using my mango hand cream every night, haven't I? Because I get Too dry. Nice. Too no, nice. no. Longer than that, actually. You haven't been paying any attention. I have dry cuticles. <laughs> and it's helped it. Just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> right. If you need a chocolate treat, you need a fibre one. And they've actually... So usually they, they do the brownies. They've done them for ages. These are my favourites. But they do a caramel. I've never tried the salted caramel. I might try that. I'm a bit more of a chocolate gal. And then they've also got a lemon drizzle, which I'm not. I'm just not a lemon gal. 
However, they now have chocolate popcorn bars. So I think I'm gonna try these. They're just a good old sweet treat and they taste exactly like a naughty one. Good one. Quite a few bits I need from here for all my recipes. So I need Nutella for the cups. And then what peanut butter do I need? Wow. Sun Pat. Sun no. <laughs> I like Sun Pat. That's the worst one. It's quite sweet. Yeah, exactly. We'll just get one of these It'll crunchy, crunchy peanut. We'll get that one. Look at these fancy honeys. We've got a lime blossom. We've got a sunflower. I want to have a sniff. <laughs> Doesn't smell like a sunflower. Oh, they got a lid on. Oh my god. Ew, I can actually smell the lime through that one. What, through the through the cover? Yeah, I can. No. And they've got a, what was the other one? Fragrant and complex wild flower. I wish you could actually smell them. Oh, they've got a cinnamon honey. That actually sounds really nice. Look at that. Should I get that? Cinnamon is glorious. We'll go with the norm. <laughs> I'm just having a bit of a mooch in the cleaning area and I've come across this sweet orange kitchen cleaner. I'm just, I'm a sucker for a good scent. Lavender bathroom cleaner. I feel like that would be nicer in your bedroom because lavender makes you sleepy. Lavender glass and stainless steel. What is this brand? Clean Kin Beauty. Never heard of it. Lavender floor wash. Sounds glorious. Ooh, they've got Sephora. Twilight Garden. I've never hit. Oh my god. How did I not see this in the festive period? Festive fireside scent. They're a little bit outdated now. Come on, Waitrose. Might have a sniffy though. Know? Winter morning. That sounds lovely. Where's an aisle? Thank you. They've got new Sephora scents. Oh. Thank you. Look at this now. They've got a winter morning scent. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sniff. Mm, not sure about winter morning. It's got a tinge of gone off orange. <laughs> Let me just, ooh, ooh, I've squished the box. There's a waitress man. It, it smells a little bit like a like a gone off. You know when you have a, a gone off orange and it's been in the bowl too long? We've got many of them right now. Let's have a sniff of festive fireside. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to do this. Don't leave me here sniffing the florist by myself. Oh, that's a bit more of me, but that's a festive fireside. It's got out of date. Right, look, we're gonna try one more. Twilight Garden, that's the scent. Scent, sniff. Oh, this is very embarrassing, by the way. I'm currently on the floor by myself, sniffing cleaning products. <laughs> Little bit weird. Oh, there's a man coming, let me sniff last one. Oh, I like Twilight Garden. Might have to get, I think I'm gonna get it. We're gonna get it, let's get it in. I'm gonna go. So, so far on the agenda, let me give you a quick show. We've got some chopped Italian tomatoes with basil. They sound lovely. We've got a mixture of Niles and mine in here. That's Niles chicken. We've got some whole almonds, they're for my cups. And we've got some flaked almonds. They go on the top of my overnight oat, which tastes absolutely lovely with a squirt of honey. There's the honey. <laughs> Nile uses microwave rice and he calls himself a chef. And then we've got all my milks. That's not mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. We've got some crunchy peanut, much better than smooth. Nile's got some tofu. What's that for your next recipe? The January recipe. Oh, check him out. We've got some mayo, some Nutella, got some broccoli tips because they're the best ones. Niall's got some beans, got some maple, that's for my cups. We've got some bananas, we've got some, that's for Niall, coconut milk, red onion, red pepper, chocolate popcorn bars, ketchup. Oh, chia seeds. These are a key thing for an overnight oat. They make the texture so nice. I think they like soak everything up together, make it, make it good. Niall picked the lime zing, and you don't need two, fresh mint. Oh, I don't like mint. It actually makes you tingle. <laughs> it's not like the best tingling on the bottle. Just got home, and we picked up this little one. So this is Maya, this is George's puppy. Hello, Maya, you've been on the vlog before. <laughs> His face. So um, George and Holly are at work today, so we've come to look after him. Well, we've brought him home to look after. So I think I'm actually gonna take them both out for a walk. 
and Niall's gonna get on with his filming and his work and he needs my camera so I think I'll have to pause the vlog although I do just quickly want to show you some of my snacks that I picked up and I don't think I showed you some of them because I picked them up just as we were going I've not been great with snacks in the house I feel like we don't actually we don't really have snacks do we in our house no. Which I think is a good thing in a way, but then if we do have chocolate or whatever in the house then I tend to reach for that or I just remain hungry because we don't have any snacks at all. So I decided to pick these up which you saw. These are the Fibre One popcorn bars and I've got some raspberries so these are my favourite fruit even though I am a little bit scared because I don't know if you saw the vlogs back in the day. It actually was ages and ages ago now. It was in our, not our last flat, the flat before. I found a worm in my raspberry, but I still love them. I just check every one now. <laughs> and I think, I think actually Waitrose does the really nice big ones. They're nice and juicy and sweet. And then I also picked these up to have a try. So these are apple and cinnamon rice corn cakes. Now I used to get the Calo brand vanilla and blueberry ones, but I actually don't know what happened to them because they're never anywhere anymore. So I'm trying out these because cinnamon, cinnamon makes me think of Christmas, even though it's gone now. In my taste bud, it still hasn't. Anyway, I'm gonna take these two out for a walk. They're barking about in the garden. And then I shall be back. Bluebell runs out at me, it's like, run, run. <laughs> Let's go get them. <laughs> oh, look at them. Soon they will be together. Right now, not so much. I think they are friends. Bluebell, can you stop showing off, please? Thank you. I am back from my walk. The doggies are kind of hanging out and about. There's Blue. Oh god, actually, actually, I need to tell you. Bluebell found another boyfriend, didn't you, Blue? Maya was... <laughs> I didn't tell you Maya was not happy. About what? About Bluebell flirting with the other cavalier. Oh, Bluebell. Bluebell, you, you upset Maya. Maya's outside having a little, little wonder. Where are you, Maya? Maya? What are you doing? Hey. <laughs> Yes, Bluebell found another cavalier that she very much liked in the park, didn't you? You were absolutely rolling over each other and give, getting in the headlock. It was so funny. You weren't too sure, were you? She was barking at him. <laughs> It's funny. Be doing any of that funny business in front of her daddy. <laughs> anyway, I am now back and I am going to make the Blondie Nutella cups. That's the word, isn't it? That's the name. I think so. Nutella Blondie cups. Blondie Nutella cups makes more sense. So, I've got my ingredients at the ready. So I've got my soya. There's still some leftover stuff from Nile cooking, so please ignore. <laughs> We're not putting soy sauce in it. We've got some oats, which I'm going to blend up. What I'm going to do first is blend up the oats to make oat flour, and I'm going to blend up the almonds to make almond flour. And basically, I just put everything in together, I think. So I've got a squirt of soya, any milk you can have though, that goes in last. And then we've got some maple syrup. I'll put the measurements in the description box though with Niall's video if you do want to follow it properly, but I'm just letting you know. And then I've got some peanut butter, which isn't peanut the main the main source of a peanut, no, of a, of a blondie No, these type of blondies. It's a peanut. Standard blondies are like, just like flour and stuff. No, but in our recipe, yeah. it's a peanut. And then we've got some vanilla whey protein, so. I'm going to start by blending up the oat and the almond to make flour. Get it all in and then the Nutella goes in last. So I'll pop you on the side and make a blondie. And then I got my, oh where have I gone? Oh here they are. Um, and then I got my yellow and pink cases at the ready. I'm just chucking all the crumbs on the floor on purpose so I have an excuse to Uber. <laughs> he wants to use the Dyson. Like sun Anyway, I just came in here to get another battery because my battery rang out, rang out, ran out when I was putting the blondie Nutella cups 
in the oven and they're now finished. Let me show you. Please ignore Nile weeing. But this is them. They've actually turned out a little bit different looking to Niles. They're a bit blonder. Niall actually was a little bit jealous, I think, because they came out more like blondies than his did. <laughs> I don't know about the taste. I'm gonna try now. Let me put you here. Niall, do you want to taste with me? I want to have a taste of my blondie. Nice. Mm, I've got a palette all over my teeth. Mm. You know what I'm tasting, I know what it's like. It's better with crunchy peanut butter. Crunch. They are glorious, aren't they, Niall? Pretty good. They are good. Anyway, I think we're actually going to um, pop to the gym now. I'm going to do some upper body and possibly a bit of Stairmaster. I need to film some clips for Niall, so we're going to head out. I don't think I'm going to bring you, and I will be back for a sausage pasta. What was that? <laughs> what would I say on YouTube? Like, <laughs> that'd be like sausage party or something. <laughs> sausage pie? Sausage party. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a sausage party. I'll be back for a sausage pasta. <laughs> and um, we'll probably make some overnight oats together to finish off, so. See you then. Anyway. See you then. I am back from the gym. I am currently just making my sausage pasta. So it's on the go. Look at this, look how glorious this looks. It needs to simmer for a while. Basically what I'm gonna do is put the recipe in the description box. It is also in Nine and Niles cookbook, Rather Delish. But I will pop the recipe in the description box. Although it's, it is pretty simple to be honest. And the secret ingredient is the white vinegar cap full. I'm actually making two portions here so I can have another one tomorrow. I always like to do that when I make like a pasta dish so that I, I don't know, it's just a nice thing to do, isn't it? So you know the next day, you just need to grab it in the fridge, pop it in the microwave, good to go. And I am actually rushing about tomorrow, so it's a good thing. So I do need to add the spinach. I need to let that simmer for a while. And while that simmers, I think what I'm gonna do is make my overnight oats ready for the morn. First time I've made them, I think, in like a year. I think it is actually a year. I have just gone on my old YouTube videos to try and find the exact recipe. And the last time I think I made it, it's not quite a year. 8th of Feb. That's a long time. And they're absolutely lovely. So I think what I'm going to do is pop you on the side, get it going. I'll pop the, the measurements in the description box. Basically what we're using, we've got the rolled oats. Do you know what though? I don't know about you, but I do find the boxed rolled oats is much nicer then the rolled oats like this, which Niall uses. The bag one. Ooh, 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 the mayo's jumping. I don't know what it is, but I, I feel like they come out differently and they, they come out less gloopy. I know this is cold, hard overnight oats, but I don't know. Something about them. First time I've bought these in so long, it takes me back. <laughs> and then we've got chia seeds. We've got shaved almonds to put on the top. We've got some peanut butter again. <laughs> Honey. I wouldn't always put Nutella in, but I just feel like, you know what? Treat yourself, it's January. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little bit of um, Nutella in as well. Got some milk, and I'm going to grab some of Niall's chocolate orange protein, I think. So I'm gonna put one scoop of that in, and it's gonna be lovely, I hope. They're like two different species, still the same. We're like Jacqueline High, like Batman and Bruce Wayne. Like fire and water. The overnight oats are in, ready for the morn. I'm actually really excited to remember what they taste like, although these odds will be a little bit different than my usual because we've got chocolate orange protein rather than chocolate. So usually I would just use chocolate, but we don't have any. And also I forgot to say, I did put in a little tiny bit of cocoa powder. Totally forgot that I did that, but I watched my video back and I told myself I do. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna finish off simmering my pasta and call this one a day. I'm actually feeling, do you know what? I'm not gonna lie, the struggle in Jan, we're gonna tell you. But today and yesterday, I have been feeling really hectic in my head. And I don't really know what it is, but I've been feeling really busy. Really busy, a little bit anxious, a little bit stressed. I'm just not, not 100, but you know, that's normal. 
I feel like I was surprised I hadn't had many days like that yet in January because, well not just in January but you know, just in general, I haven't had so many of those days. And, you know, we're all going to have them. If you've had a day like that, you're feeling a bit stressed, you're feeling a bit meh, like last night I just could not settle. Even though I technically didn't have much to do from about 8pm, I just couldn't, I couldn't chill, I couldn't relax, couldn't watch Prison Break without just feeling a bit meh in the head and just not feeling too fabulous so yes if you're having one of those days today or you've had one i feel you we're all gonna be fine though we're in it, we're in it together with the juggling jans we're juggling through it's not always gonna be a good one but there's always good in every day there's always good in every day that's a good point even when it's a bad day there's always a good and there'll always be a better day. We've all, we've got to have a bad day to appreciate the good ones. Otherwise, if they were all good, there would be no definition of good to bad. And we wouldn't really appreciate it when it's really good. Anyway, I'm just blabbing now. So yes, I think I'm gonna leave this video here. But if you are feeling low, I feel you. But tomorrow's a new day. We're gonna be fine. Thank you so much for watching if you watched this one. I really hope you enjoyed it. I haven't really done a healthy food shop in a very, very long time with you. I haven't really done a big food shop in a long time, so I thought, why not? Why not in the juggle in Jan? It's a nice thing to do in January. Just feel like when you've got nice food in the house, you just eat better anyway. You make more food because you got the food. I'm gonna leave it here. I really do hope you enjoyed. Please let me know if you did. Please leave a comment if you did, if you wanna have a chat. If you want to juggle through Jan with me, we're going to be fabulous. We are all fabulous anyway, but we don't always have the fabulous dust of days. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully see you in Juggling Jan, episode four, on Sunday. And we've got a girl talk. I'm a little bit nervous to film it, but they're really nice afterwards. I really enjoy it because I really like connecting. On, I feel like they're quite connecting. You know, if you're feeling the way that I'm chatting about on the girl talk, it's quite it's personal. That's why. Anyway, <laughs> I will hopefully see you in that one.